Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vibs from Slagnut here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the super keyword in Java. In my earlier videos, I was talking about method overriding and the this keyword. If you guys haven't seen those videos, please go back in the playlist object oriented Java on my channel and check those videos out because this one depends on that. So let's talk about the two things that you can do with the super keyword. One, you can call superclass methods. Two, you can call superclass constructors. So the question that you have as beginners is something like this. Why the heck would I do this? So let's take a look at how and why you would be calling superclass methods. For a simple example, I have a class cycle. It has an int weight equals to 10. And there is a print info method that's going to print the weight over here. There's a class by cycle that extends cycle. And let's say there's a brand equals to hero. And there's another print info method over here. Now inside this print info that belongs to by cycle, I want to print the brand equals to hero, which can be simply done. I also want to print weight equals to 10. But since weight has already been printed over here, inside this print info method, I want to use this method, in other words, call this method from my public void print info inside by cycle. So I can simply write something like this, print info. However, and then I can of course write your system dot out dot print and brand over here. So as a beginner, you would expect that print info is going to call this method print info, print the weight, and then it's going to print the brand. But this is where things go wrong. When you create an object of by cycle and you call print info, the output you get is something like this, which basically means that you're run out of memory. You see, when you're calling print info like this, the this keyword is indirectly being applied to this statement over here. In other words, this actually means this dot print info. Now if you know what the this keyword is, the this keyword represents the object that is calling the method. When you say c dot print info, this keyword becomes equal to c over here. And now let's take a look at what the object c, that is the bicycle object contains. It contains brand equals to hero and the print info method, the white boxes that you see over here. Now I also have two blue boxes, weight equals to 10 and the other print info that you see over here. Now the blue boxes represent the stuff that belongs to superclass which is cycle. So when you're saying this dot print info over here, it's gonna call this method, it's gonna call this method again and again they're gonna keep cycling and that's gonna crash your program. So we wanna call the other print info that belongs to the class cycle from the class by cycle. For that, there is a special keyword called super. In other words, you simply say super dot print info. Now super is capable of accessing the variables that and methods that belong to the super class. So you can access super dot weight equals to 10 provided it's not private and you can also say super dot print info and that's gonna call this method over here from the super class it's gonna run the code inside this method and it's gonna get back over here to print the brand at the last statement so this is how you can call super class methods so in this video we talked about how to call super class methods in the next video we are gonna go to NetBeans work out a simple example of calling super class methods and take a look at what happens. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.